Welcome to the show. I'm Corinne. And I'm LaShondra, and together we're KNL Everyday CNA. Mm -hmm. Watch out, it's time for Halloween. Children will be dressed up, or will they? The CDC has new guidelines for trick or treaters. Yes, the CDC states you should not participate in in person Halloween festivities and should not give out candy to trick or treaters in person. But they do suggest these activities. Number one, how about carving and decorating pumpkins? Are decorating your house, apartment, or living space? You can either drive around your neighborhood to look for decorations, but make sure you only have family members. <laughs> you can have a Halloween movie night with only the people you live with, mm -hmm. scavenger hunt or trick or treat inside with the people you live with. All of these suggestions are low risk. Mm -hmm. The next ones we're about to mention are moderate risks. Place little bags of candy at the edge of the driveway or your yard. Make sure to make it a one-way trick-or-treat. So I guess if you put the candy at the end, just mark it and they just walk in and walk right yeah. back out. Yeah. Attending a costume party where everyone wears a mask and remaining more than six feet apart. That's a good idea. Outdoor hunted forests where a mask can remain in more than six feet apart. Visit a pumpkin patch. Use hand sanitizer before touching a pumpkin and after. Wear a mask and keep your distance. Yeah. The next group, these activities should be avoided at all costs. They can enhance the risk of transmitting the virus. CDC states these are high risk. Number one, participating in traditional trick-or-treating where the candy is handed to the child door to door, or during a trick or treat, trunk or treat. That's something new, because we didn't have that when I was growing up. No, it started a little bit ago. Mm -hmm. Crowded indoor costume party, an indoor hunted house, hay rides, tractor rides with the people that's not in your household. Travel to a rural fall festival outside your community. And the last one we want to mention is they say to be careful and do not wear a costume mask over a cloth mask. This could be dangerous. Pick a mask made out of cloth. And also something we want to mention is if you plan to pass out candy, here are a few other things to be aware of. If you see a child carrying a teal pumpkin or a dark blue pumpkin or a bucket, this means something. The teal color means a food allergy. This started in 2014 when the Food Allergy Research and Education wanted to bring awareness to children having a food allergy. By placing a teal pumpkin on the doorstep is a symbol of safety and will pass out non-food treats. The dark blue color means a symbol of autism. This person may require specific different needs. Parents, caregivers can go on the National Autism Association website and download printed cards to hand out that say, Having autism can sometimes make it difficult to speak. Please accept this, Please accept this as a thank you for your yummy treat. Here are some treat ideas for teal and dark blue pumpkins. You can pass out bouncy balls, bubbles, glow sticks, mini notebooks, stencils, spider rings. Remember children and adults can be carrying these colored pumpkins. Please be kind and help them celebrate. Also remember you may see older children out trick-or-treating. Be kind to them as well. They could be out doing worse things than asking for candy and taking their siblings out. Very true. Whether you choose to celebrate with old family traditions or start new ones, Stay safe and enjoy. Do not forget about your residents. Dress up for them. Like always, thank you for joining us. Like, share, and leave a comment. Make sure to check out a new Facebook page called CNA Drop the Mic. See you next week.